Hey everyone, I'm Joshua Oro, the Mustang Prince, and welcome to Mustang Prince Oral Reports. Now today, we're going to talk about one of the famous piano men in all of rock and roll history, Elton John. Raised in the Pinner area of London, Elton John, then known as Reginald Dwight, learned to play piano at an early age, and by 1962, he had formed Bluesology. He then met his long-term musical partner, Bernie Taupin, in 1967, after they both answered an adverb for songwriters. For two years, they wrote songs for many different artists, including Lulu. And, of course, Elton John worked as a session musician for artists, including The Hollies, and Scaffold. In 1969, Elton John's debut album, Empty Sky, was released, and in 1970, his first single hit, Your Song, from his second album, reached the top 10 in the UK and in the US. And he also achieved great success in musical films and theater, like composing songs for The Lion King and its stage adaptation, along with the Disney Broadway show, Aida, and Billy Elliot the Musical. Not only that, but Elton John got to cameo in several other films, like Tommy, and The Country Bears. And he also produced and put new songs for films like Gnomeo and Juliet, and its sequel, Sherlock Gnomes. Also, like Queen, I love listening to many of Elton John's music. Also, before the year of 2019 begun, I was completely surprised when I found out news of an Elton John biography movie. And of course, it's the subject of my blog today. Released on May 31st, 2019, the movie is Rocket Man. Now let's get started. The film follows the fantastical journey of transformation from shy piano prodigy Reginald Dwight into the international superstar Elton John. It tells a universally relatable story of how a small town boy became one of the most iconic figures in pop culture until he reaches into his breakthrough years. So, what do I personally think of the movie? Now, I have to admit, this movie was very serious, emotional, depressing, but also very interesting, relatable, and sympathetic at the same time. And it was very entertaining. But, did I enjoy the film? Well, yeah, I did. But, let's move on to Mustang Notes. Elton John and his husband, David Furnish, had tried to produce a film based on his life for almost two decades. The earliest efforts dated back to 2001, when the film initially started at Walt Disney Studios. Photographer David LaChapelle was set to direct the movie after his work on the video for John's 2001 single, This Train Don't Stop Here Anymore, which featured Justin Timberlake as a young John. However, no further development took place at Disney since then, and would languish for over two decades in development hell. In an article written for The Guardian, Elton John said that he struggled to get the project off the ground due to studios wanting the film to be toned down to a PG-13 rating instead of an R rating. Filming was initially planned to start in autumn 2014. However, creative differences between Elton John and Focus Features, along with budget issues, caused him and Furnish to take the project elsewhere. No further development on the film was announced until July 2017. Production commenced on August 2nd, 2018. Also, in October 2018, it was announced that the movie was shooting in London. 
Filming then commenced at Brave Film Studios near Maidenshead, Berkshire. In March 2019, it was reported by the Daily Mail that Paramount Pictures pr pressured Fletcher to tone down some of the sex features. However, Fletcher stated on Twitter that the rumors were false. Now, in my opinion, the story feels pretty similar to Bohemian Rhapsody, not just because there's classic rock music, but it's about a young musician who changes his name, becomes a big shot rock star, goes into a bisexual relationship, and then goes into a depressing state. Also, I never thought that this movie would be rated R, because the way they advertised and portrayed this movie made me believe it would be PG-13. I guess this movie became that way not only because of the sexual innuendo scenes, but because of the alcohol and drugs feature in this movie. However, on the positive side, I have to give credit to the filmmakers for capturing the 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s time era. And I really love how Los Angeles, California looks in this movie. And the scene at the Troubadour bar made my parents very nostalgic due to the fact that it was not too far from where they lived before they had me. Another thing I like in this movie are the song numbers. Yes, I love almost every single one of these songs, not only because they're classic Elton John hits, but because some of them feature outstanding choreography. And it makes the movie feel like a Broadway musical. In fact, some of my favorite songs in this movie are The Bitch is Back, I Want Love, Saturday Night Alright for Fighting, Rock and Roll Madonna, Your Song, Crocodile Rock, Tiny Dancer, Take Me to the Pilot, Don't Go Breaking My Heart, Pinball Wizard, Rocket Man, Benny and the Jets, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, and I'm Still Standing. And now, let's move on to the cast. For the role of Reginald Dwight, aka Elton John, they hired Taryn Egerton. In my opinion, I really like Egerton's acting in this movie, and his singing does pay homage to Elton John's style. Plus, I think the reason why Egerton was cast as Elton John was because he sang one of his songs in the 2016 animated comedy, Sing. But it's just a theory. Also, I think the two kids who played younger versions of Elton John, Kit Connor and Matthew Ainsley, were absolutely brilliant. Also, I found it pretty interesting that throughout this movie, Elton John was narrating his life story at a rehabilitation center. Plus, I can't believe the certain amount of crap that he had to go through during his career. And I'm also surprised at how athletic he was while playing his piano. Elton John's partner, Bernie Taupin, was played by Jimmy Bell, whom I've talked about in my blogs of The Adventures of Tintin and the 2005 King Kong remake. In my opinion, Bernie seems like a great best friend character, and I really like the friendship chemistry between him and Elton John. Also, I think Bernie's songwriting skills is absolutely brilliant. Next we have the famous John Reed, played by Richard Madden. At first, I thought John was an okay guy, but later on, he starts to manipulate Elton, and he insists that he comes out to his parents as a gay so that they can help hide their sexual relationship from the press. Now that, in my opinion, was really sick. Also, later, during the 70s era, Reed became Queen's manager, which is pretty interesting. Next, we have Elton John's mother, Sheila Elan played by Bryce Dallas Howard. 
who got to be in the Jurassic World movies and the 2016 Pete's Dragon remake, as well as A Dog's Way Home. To me, Sheila was a very cold-hearted and very strict woman, plus she was already aware of her son's sexuality. As for the rest of Elton John's family, well, I think his grandmother, Ivy, played by Gemma Jones, is a very caring person, and I like that she supports Elton with piano lessons during his childhood. His father, Stanley, played by Stephen McIntosh, in my opinion, well, while he is a fan of jazz music, he's barely at home, and he shows no interest in his son or his talent for music. And later, Stanley abandons his family. Next is Dick James, played by Stephen Graham. This character is the owner of a music publishing company. Rounding out the cast is Rachel Muldoon as Kiki D. The girl who sang Don't Go Breaking My Heart with Elton John. And Troubadour owner Doug Weston, played by Hercules himself, Tate Donovan. And now let's move on to my final words. Overall, Rocket Man was a great rock and roll biography movie. Well, mostly it was. I mean, yes, the story was very serious and emotional, but it was very interesting and relatable at the same time. Also, the film was very entertaining, and the song numbers made me want to sing to myself and tap my fingers to the music. However, due to its R rating, this is not a movie I would recommend young rock and roll fans to watch. But if you folks are Elton John fans and are over the age of 17, then I think you wouldn't want to miss this movie. So, my rating for this movie will be a 91% out of 100. Now, I hear there's going to be another Elton John movie later this year. Due to the music. And yes, I will get to blogging it when the time comes, but I'm not going to do it alone, though. Anyway, that's all for now. Be sure to join me again for my next blog, where we reunite with some pets from Illumination. Mustang Power. <laughs>